Aquaman. The first solo movie of The King of Atlantis was released in 2018 and has since become the most successful DC film of all time, with box office earnings of $1.1 billion US. It quickly became clear that a second part was to come after the actual release date was supposed to be in 2022. Fans were again kept waiting. However, in December 2023, the time will finally come for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom to hit theaters. Yet, there are still a few questions about the project, and that's why we sat down for you and compiled everything important that is known so far. After all, some of the statements made by the producers are quite insightful. In case you don't remember exactly what the film was about, here's a little recap. If you haven't seen the movie yet and want to avoid spoilers, you should skip ahead to the next part of the video. Arthur Curry is born as the son of Atlanta, the Queen of Atlantis, and Thomas Curry, half human, half Atlantean. He is eligible to ascend to the throne of Atlantis, even though he has no interest in doing so for a long time. Yet, one year after the events surrounding Justice League, his half-brother Orm decides to unite the six underwater kingdoms and start a war against the humans who've been polluting the world's oceans for decades. Wanting to stop him, Arthur challenges him to a duel for the crown, which he loses, and only barely escapes with his life. He only manages to survive with the help of the fighter Mira. The two set out to find the Trident of Atlan, the first King of Atlantis, whose owner is the ruler of all seas. In order to prevent this, Orm sets the pirate David Kane, alias Black Manta, on them. The latter has a score to settle with Arthur since he believes Aquaman to be responsible for the death of his father. He fails, however, and so Arthur and Mira find a wormhole in the depths of the ocean of the trench, which takes them to the hidden sea in the center of the earth. There, they discover not only the trident, but also Arthur's mother, who is presumed dead and was sacrificed to the trench by the Atlanteans. Together with the trident and a huge army of sea creatures, they now face Orm and his hosts. This time around, Aquaman wins, but spares the life of his half-brother after he promises to support him. Upon learning that his mother is still alive, in the end, Atlanta returns to Arthur's father at the surface, and Arthur and Mira ascend to the throne. There have constantly been fresh news about the cast. Of course, we know of many familiar actors who will again play an important role, but also interesting new ones are being announced over and over again. Among them is someone who is already considered a terror of the seas in other series. It's a given that Jason Momoa will once again take on the role of Arthur Curry, aka Aquaman. He was certainly partly responsible for the success of the first film, which clearly stood out from the otherwise weak DCEU film adaptions. Especially when you see the portrayals of Aquaman in the comics, Momoa makes a successful change. He'll also be joined by Amber Heard in the role of Mira. For a long time, there had been some uncertainty about her appearance. The trial with her ex-husband Johnny Depp has lost her some reputation in Hollywood. Nevertheless, the producers are giving her a second chance. Further confirmed are Nicole Kidman as Queen Atlanta and Star Wars star Tamara Morrison as Thomas Curry. After James Gunn took over at DC, there were many postponements and cutbacks in upcoming projects. Many big names, including Henry Cavill and his role as Superman, fell victim to these cutbacks, and as a result, Aquaman 2's release date was pushed back to December 25th, 2023. As a result, fans may have to wait longer for the trailer's release. The storyline for the movie remains a mystery, but the title, The Lost Kingdom, suggests that the movie's focus will be on a lost kingdom that may not be Atlantis. It is possible that Dr. Stephen Shin discovered a former enemy of Atlantis and, together with Kane, went in search of this civilization to bring them back into a war with Atlantis. It is also likely that Aquaman will need help from his brother to fight against this new threat. While the storyline of Aquaman 2 has been shrouded in secrecy, leaving fans with minimal details about the upcoming sequel, nevertheless, James Wan, the director, unveiled a fresh featurette during Warner Brothers CinemaCon's presentation, offering a glimpse into the primary plot of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Even the renowned movie commentator Eric Davis from Fandango disclosed that in the sequel, Aquaman will have a collaborate with his brother, King Orm, albeit reluctantly to defeat Black Manta. 
who has become more powerful and hazardous since the first movie. So, for the time being at least, this seems like the most possible plot. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is set to be released in US cinemas on December 25th, 2023, and in the UK on December 29th, hoping to get into people's hearts over the Christmas holidays. But everything we have so far is speculation. What are your thoughts on the new potential plotline? Do you think that Aquaman will be able to live up to its prestige or become another DC box office disaster? Let us know down in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed and consider subscribing for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.